and welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. I'm Rebecca Felgate, and like everyone else in the tech world right now, we are talking about the biggest news this summer, the launch of the brand new iPhone. Join me as we talk about the top 10 iPhone 10 facts you need to know. So, iPhone 10 or iPhone X? The information on the new name is coming in at number 10. Before the launch, the new iPhone had endured some leaks, and some people thought it was going to be called the iPhone X. Some were even saying that apparently the X stood for exclusive, which actually makes it sound like a seedy club on Clapham High Street or Uptown Minnesota. It turns out that the X is actually Roman numerals for 10. The phone will be released alongside two variants of iPhone 8, the iPhone 8 and the iPhone 8 Plus, then skipping out the 9 altogether to celebrate the iPhone's 10th anniversary, there will be the iPhone 10. Now there will be a few bits of information about the other two phones on this list, but we are mainly here to talk about the iPhone 10. I'm actually pretty sad they didn't call it the iPhone exclusive. Gross. So gross. Okay, so speaking of exclusive, it also comes with an exclusive price tag. This is coming into number nine. The new iPhone will set you back 999 US dollars. The iPhone 8 will start at $699, with the iPhone 8 Plus costing $799. All phones will come in 64 gig and 256 gig models. Many are wondering about the battery life, and I'm gonna tell you right here at number eight. So the iPhone X will have a battery life of two hours longer than the iPhone 7, which is pretty exciting. Big news at number seven, there will be no home button. While the new iPhones 8 and iPhone 8 Plus will have the home button, the iPhone 10 will dispense with the home button altogether. It will be an all screen, totally touch screen phone. So it will have a totally edge to edge display. To get to the home screen, you'll swipe up from the bottom. To wake the phone, you just need to tap it. If you want to multitask, you can also swipe. To spark Siri, you will now press the side button. And to unlock it, well, we'll get to that later. Obviously, the new iPhone 10 looks pretty different to what we've seen before. As well as no home button, it will have that edge to edge display we talked about and something the Apple team are calling Super Retina display. The phone will be 5.8 inches on the diagonal and will be able to show an incredible 2436 by 1125 pixels. The iPhone X will use OLED technology, the first OLED display great enough to be in an iPhone. The iPhone 10 will support HDR and have a 1 million to 1 contrast ratio. It will also have 3D touch technology built into the display. Some may not like this, but at number 6, the new iPhone will have glass on the front and on the back. Now to me, this makes it pretty stressful and smashable. Now this actually goes for both the iPhone 8, 8 Plus and 10, although apparently we shouldn't worry about breaking them because the glass is said to be the strongest smartphone glass ever. Surrounding the phone will be stainless steel, and with the iPhone 10, the stainless steel and glass will have a continuous flow. Apple seemed pretty excited about this continuous flow. Oh, and the iPhone 10 will also be waterproof and dustproof. Hurrah! A key clue as to why the phones are made of glass, something hugely important at number five, all of the new iPhones will charge wirelessly. That's right, we all knew that it was coming. All the new iPhones will be continuing with the wireless headphones, and now they will charge wirelessly, which is pretty exciting. The phone's glass back makes it possible to do this. The phones will use Qi Open Wireless Standard, and this will also be installed at airports, hotels, and even McDonald's. This will allow easy wireless charging in various outlets. So exciting at number four, the phone will have a brand new chip, the A11 Bionic. This is being called the most powerful and smartest chip ever in a smartphone. It also includes six core processors. It will be made up of two performance cores 25% faster than before and four high efficiency cores. Now this new chip will actually be in all of the iPhones, the iPhone 8, the 8 Plus and the 10. It allows for some crazy high end new features that we're gonna discuss next. So important with iPhones, coming into number three, we have the camera. All of the new iPhones will have enhanced cameras and will continue to work with and develop the iPhone 7's portrait feature. The iPhone 8, 8 Plus and 10 will have 12 megapixel cameras and sensors with 83% more light. They will include optical image stabilization and they'll have better low light photography capabilities. 
On the iPhone 10, the front facing camera will be souped up too. The phones will have dual back cameras, and the portrait lighting feature will give real time analysis of light on the subject's face. Now, this is unlike a filter. The cameras will have real time image and motion analysis, and they'll be able to shoot in a crazy 4K at 60 frames per second. They will also be able to film at 1080p at 240 frames per second, which is absolutely insane. Coming into number two, all of the iPhones will be primed and ready for augmented reality. All hail the first smartphone with augmented reality, and seriously, gamers can rejoice here. The iPhone 8 and 8 Plus will allow owners to play with AR and apps, but the iPhone 10 goes even further with the launch of an emojis. So these are emojis that you can control with your face. Yeah, your actual face to animate emojis. I'm so excited. When you launch a message, you can pick an emoji and it will record your face as it delivers it to your intended using your very own facial expressions. You can even record video messages using an emojis and they use facial tracking technology. For me, it looks so cool. Finally, at number one, the most exciting and hotly anticipated feature of the iPhone 10, it will have facial recognition. Now this means you can unlock your phone using your face. The Apple geniuses are calling this the most advanced technology that they have ever created. Facial recognition will work using the true depth camera system. Every time you glance at your phone, it will detect your face. Your phone will have a mathematical model of your face and will check it to let you unlock your phone. And according to Apple, this is very important, it cannot be spoofed by photos or masks. What is this magic? I'm so baffled. I'm feeling like, guys, this is the future. The iPhone 10 will adapt to your face over time, and it won't unlock if your eyes are closed. Face ID will also work with Apple Pay, and it is fast, intuitive, and simple. It is also thought to be able to work with third party apps, although on the downside, it won't work for identical twins, which is a bit of a bummer. So guys, that is everything you need to know about the iPhone 10, except for the date. For the iPhone 8, you can pre-order them on September the 15th, and they will be available in stores two weeks later. For the iPhone 10, you can pre-order it on October the 27th, and it will be shipped on November the 3rd. Oh my goodness, my head is spinning from all of this information. But I have to say, my lasting thought is, imagine a world where the poo emoji can talk for us using our own facial expressions. I mean, what a time to be alive. So guys, that was the top 10 things that you need to know about the iPhone 10. Are you excited? Will you be buying the iPhone 10 or the iPhone 8 or the iPhone 8 Plus? Let me know in the comments section down below. Also, let me know what emoji you would like to talk for you. For me, I think it has to be the unicorn. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm Rebecca Felgate. If you like this video, make sure you give it a good thumbs up, share it with a friend, and stay subscribed to Most Amazing Top 10 for more informative lists. I'll see you next time.